Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Inter in FM20. I'm Inter, and once again, I'm recording far too late in the night. So yeah, you know that what that means. I'm going to try to not to get too excited, because that means I'm going to scream, and that means the neighbors won't be happy. But yeah, this last episode, we actually played quite a few games. We started off with a good win versus um, Empoli, two goals from Lukaku, among others. Then an even bigger win away versus Fiorentina, one for Esposito, two for Haaland, so on. And then in the, the Coppa Italia, we managed to beat AC Milan, and um, then we followed that one up with a good win uh, versus Udinese at home in the league. Two goals for Haaland, one for Esposito, and then we destroyed Shakhtar in the second leg of the Champions League. Look at this, not one, not two, not three, but four goals from Lukaku. This man is currently the top goal scorer of Champions League. Um, yeah, we still haven't seen the draws. We don't know who we're gonna get in the, in the court final. Um, but today it's all about the league. We're playing versus Napoli, who's uh, currently in fourth place in the league, and we're playing them away, so we know it's going to be difficult. But look at this table. We have been lucky lately. Juve has been losing out some points, and right now we are setting ourselves up to get back into that to that title. Because you know we won it the first season, then Juve bounced back. Right now. Uh, we definitely have a good position to make this our year. We have Esposito, top goal scorer. Haaland just one goal behind. Um, actually, take a look at Juve here and their, uh, their schedule. You can tell, like, lately... I mean, first off, they were godlike here. But lately, a draw in the league. Then was lost in Champions League. Draw in the league. Draw... No, lost in the league. Draw in the Champions League. Draw in the league. Lost in the league. Uh, lost in uh, the Coppa Italia, lost in the league. So yeah, their, their form is definitely declining here, which have been great for us because we we have been doing what we do. We have been mostly winning. Um, we also actually been playing a new formation. This was the first game we played it, and we've been doing that because of injuries and so on. So we played this formation for for the Shakhtar game, and actually I have intend to to try it in in today's game too, because uh, it's a difficult away game. And we also have a bronze of issues spended. We have Asensi out with an injury. He's been out for like, uh, I think like three weeks or something. Now it's uh, just an another week left. But Rea just come back from injury, lacking fitness. So that's why we've been a little bit creative today. Uh, the defenders we don't have, there's some great wing backs, but they, the ones we had in, in the last game was fantastic wing backs, but we'll have to wait and see. I feel like this is a little bit more balanced for the difficult away games. So yeah, we have submitted the team, and uh, this is the Napoli team we're up against with Insignia on top. A lot of quality here, um, as always, with uh, with Napoli. And Merit, a goalkeeper that I, we would like to maybe steal for next season. We'll have to wait and see if we can can afford that. So um, let's see here. On team talks, let's talk individual to you guys. I believe in you. You agree, and um, game on. And as I said, new for me. This is the second time we see this formation in action, and uh, we don't have as good wing backs as we had in the first game. Uh, and we also lost game we were playing at home. Now we are playing a difficult away game and Yeah, nightmare will start. I um, haven't even played six minutes when when this happens and uh, Frustrating we definitely need some passion and this just remind me I need to show you guys one thing I forgot to, 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 to tell you that when Let's get to, to, to the normal screen here. When we're talking about the, the schedule, I want to mention this game versus Udinese was actually a, a little bit special one because it started off as a nightmare. I hadn't even played six minutes when Bronswich got a straight up red card. And then we played like 17, 18 minutes when Udinese got a penalty. So we were off to the worst possible start. But then, the man, the myth, the legend, our captain, fantastic Hadanovic, 
stepped up and decided, nope, no, we're not going to concede any goals here today. He saved the penalty, and then the rest is uh, history. Even though we played almost the whole game, one game uh, with, with one play less, Haaland scored twice, Esposito won, so won three goals against one. Very pleased with that win, considering the red card, considering the early penalty we got against us. But now we are in a difficult situation here, away versus Napoli, because we are behind. No reaction at all from, uh, from Team Talk. And uh, looking at statistics, we are creating a f slight bit more chances. And not by a huge margin, though. I'm not seeing very um, seeing many highlights either. I think we only see the the goal. The goal was on the highlight. But let's say that of course we see Napoli again, and it's another red card. Come on, come on! Two league games in a row where we get a red card. So now we need to try to turn things around with one less player on the pitch. Yep. The why, why why can't I confirm this? Why why can't I do anything? I can get out, okay. But maybe maybe we can do it. I mean, we we could versus uh, Udinese show that we can do it here again. And uh, we not we don't have Handanovic in goal either. Um, he's uh, on the bench. He uh, he picked up like a slight thing. He's okay now, but I just like. I didn't want to risk anything, so I'm playing with Radu, our backup keeper. And uh, maybe, yes, maybe Hadanovic would have saved that first goal. But that's the halftime whistle. We created more than twice the amount of shots. We're going to go aggressive. We're going to tell them that they've been garbage. We're also going to speak to you, Tanali. Tell how disappointed I am with you being sent off. We're going to just change things around directly, because yes, we've got very few highlights. But we created more than twice the amount of chances that they did. So we know that we can do stuff. We know that we can create things. And maybe this is uh, the one. Here's Di Marco. Di Marco for Haaland. Haaland breaks through into the box. And, um, well, we got a chance. And we have a corner here. So maybe we can do something from the corner. It's Di Marco with the corner. And Haaland is Gagladzini, De Vrij. And uh, now it's going the wrong direction. And that's, yeah, that's the end of the highlight. I think we need some creativity here. Yellow card for Gagliardini. We have a throw in here. Alan, DeMarco, Gagliardini. DeMarco, Gagliardini. Sets up Esposito. The Serie A top goal scorer is his 26th goal of the season. And we are back in business. One man down. We're back in business. And we're going to stay like this. Because we, we're not pleased with a draw. We, we always need to win it. And... Uh, we, we're going to keep on pushing forward. Don't need any more replays, thank you. But now we see Napoli with a highlight. Or oh, maybe not, maybe Esposito can turn it around. And here is Gagliardini, but he gives it away. Come on, lads, we, we, we can do something here. We can win this one. We can make this one for us. We can, I believe in you. Memphis to pay, breaks through into the box. Come do something, guys. Do something. And... <laughs> It bounces and he gets one of his career's easiest goal. Talk about luck. It bounces and lands at his feet when open it. It couldn't have bounced any way, anywhere, but of course it bounces so he gets an open net. I don't want to see more of that. I want to see more of passion. We have a goal kick here. Montero, Skrinar. Screener for uh, Jedwai, Jedwai, Barea, Barea, Gagliardini, Barea, DeMarco, DeMarco loses possession. Come on, lads, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work it, work it, you can win this one. And don't stand there, you need to win this one too. Oh, beautiful challenge. That was a fantastic tackle. And here is Jedwai, and he goes to Haaland. Holland in a bad angle, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for Erling Holland from a very, very bad angle. He scores his 25th goal of the season, and we have once again equalized with only 10 players on the pitch. Yeah, that is a quality finisher from that angle. Makes me a happy manager. 
I think we need to start looking for subs then. If we're having a bad day at work, kind of everybody's in a similar level. Um, what could be... What could be... I mean, I think we should go with Barea. He's not been great, and he's also just back from an injury. So he's... Um, he uh, might not yet um, be there really when it comes to, to, to form. And uh, we have an assist on Jed Vi. Um, we're gonna, he's so tired. I'm going to go with Pirola. Even though Jed I got that assist because he is more suitable for this position. And then we're going to wait a little bit longer with the last one. Come on lads, I'm the one more. I believe in you. But now here is... The wrong team, but that's over. Over for the Napoli player. Clock ticks on. Must they throw in for Napoli? Come on, lads. Win it back. Win it back. You show that you can win back. And you can win the ball. And you can change things around. Here is Riccardi. Maybe this is it. Newly sub Riccardi. All by himself on the right flank. There's a long, long run. And he goes into Esposito. That run from Riccardi. That finisher from Esposito. Yes, of course, I'm dancing here in my chair as the rain pulls down. Look at this run. Like, he brought the ball from, like, half side of our pitch. And then the Serie A top goal scorer is, is merciless when he uh, finished that one. We have one last sub. So who will it be? Um, we have some different options. I'm considering thinking here. I think even though Gigledin has been so good, should replace him, maybe. Um, could definitely have just an advanced playmaker. So, what do we do here? What do we do? Considering the options. I think we're going to go with DeMarco too, because we are playing with those wingbacks. They're going to be working like crazy covering the whole flank getting some fresh legs there could could be what we need here and some creativity we have Lirola guys show yourself he's kind of lonely but here is Ricardo he's going for another assist he could be but uh, the Napoli players beats Esposito to the ball and now the counter attack is happening come on lads come on come on come on come on come on was that the highlight yes it was we see five minutes of extra time. Can't demand more. Clock ticks on. So here's a degree with a throw in. Holland, Telles, Riccardi, and Esposito loses possession. But it was a tough pass for him. Win this one. You no! What are you doing? What are you doing, Screener? Now you put the, pick a tactical foul. In a situation like that, you pick a tactical foul. A beautiful though by De Vrij. De Vrij goes through to Holland. Holland breaks in to the box. Holland, Holland, Holland. Definitely couldn't have done better there. That was kind of a better chance than the one he scored on. I really feel like yeah, it, it was beautiful by Nulis Sub Teles. And then that cross for Esposito. It's offside, Osito, I guess. Okay, look at the clock now. The ref should blow at any moment. He should blow the whistle. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Don't, don't, don't let this chance happen. Don't let this one happen. Is that the way to offside? Okay, offside. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to stay calm now, but this is an, a very good game for us. We got an early red card. We got behind, we managed to come back. We got behind, we managed to come back. And then at the end, we managed to score the winner. This is a great result for us. And another two goals for Esposito. I mean, these guys, actually, before we end it, we, we need to take a look at uh, at the top goal scorers. First off, that was a very, very good. That comeback was fantastic. Make me a very happy manager. And now, let's see. Yeah, look at this. Number one and number two in the league. I know that we have the number one in the Champions League, too. But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.